Hello 3E, glad you could join me. We're talking about step commission today. Our goal, I know what step commission is and how to calculate it. So sometimes when you move through a company, the more you sell, the more the company is willing to give you for commission. Now the way we calculate this is exactly the same as regular commission, except that we have to do it in a bunch of different steps because sometimes you're making 1%, uh, like maybe 5% commission and then you sell a little bit more and the company says hey now we're going to give you 10% commission. So we're going to look at this through this one example and I'm only going to do one example and then you'll have a few more to do for homework. Uh, vector marketing employs sales representatives that sell knives door to door. You start at 10% commission then at $3,000 in sales you move up to 15% commission at $7,500 you move to 20% commission and then finally at $15,000 you move to 30% commission and that's the highest you stay at 30% commission. So uh, Mrs. Caldwell worked for Vector Marketing. That is actually true. One summer while in university. She had sold a total of $18,575 of product by the time the summer was over. How much did she earn uh, for her summer job? Um, those numbers are roughly what I made. My mo memory is not the greatest. I don't know if this is exactly how I stepped through the commission, but it was something approximately like that. And this was about how much I sold during the summer. So let's have a look at it. Uh, commission at 10%. Well, the first $3,000 is at 10% because you start at 10% and you don't move up until you hit $3,000 sales. So we have $3,000 and it's at 10% so we have to times it by 0 0.10. And that means that for the first $3,000 in sales I made $300 for myself. Now the commission at 15% um, from $3,000 we move uh, to 15% and we don't step up again until we hit $7,500. So from $7,500 we take away $3,000 to figure out how much of our sales was at 15% and that's $4,500. I'm going to move this over a little bit. So $4,500 is at 15%. So we need to times $4,500 by 0 0.15. How do we do that? Let's pull in the calculator. 4,500 times 0 0.15, $675. So, so for the next $4,500, I make $675 for myself. Now, from 7,500 to 15,000 and that's a jump of, well you figured out, 7,500 to 15,000. How do we figure out that jump? Let's take 15,000 and subtract 7,500 and you'll find out that that's 7,500. So for the next 7,500 and notice these steps are getting farther apart. Started at 3,000 then the next it was another 4,500 till my next jump and now another 7,500 till my next jump. So I make 20% commission on $7,500. So I need to calculate that 7,500 times 0 0.20. Let's pull up the calculator for that one. 7,500 times 0 0.20 is $1,500. So I made $1,500 there. Now what's left? Well at 15,000 I went up to 30 percent and this was my last total. So what more did I make? Well I made this $18,575 and I have to subtract that 15,000 because that's how much I made over it. So that's 
$575. That's how much more I made or how much more I sold after I got to the 15000 So we have to calculate $3,575 times 0 0.30, which is 30%. So let's do that again. 3575 times 0 0.3, $1,072.50. $1,072.50. Now, I do want to know how much I made in total. So in total, we have to add them all up. So I have $300 from the 10% commission. I have $675 from the 15% commission. I have $1,500 from the 20% commission. And then I have $1,072.50 from the 30% commission. And we're going to add those all up. 300 plus 675 plus 1072.50. Oh, and I forgot the 1500 plus 1500 equals. So I made. 3,000, what was that? $3,547.50. $3,547.50 in total. And we had to do it in all those steps because I was making more money as I went along. Now you have a few practice exercises to do on a handout sheet, uh, and then you don't forget to write the journal for this topic. That's it for now.